Hi everybody, in this video I want to show you how you can get more control over your streams to YouTube from your PlayStation, your PlayStation 4 or your PlayStation 5. Um, specifically how you can add gaming tags to your uh, stream so you can say you know, I'm playing The Division 2 in this case and also a custom thumbnail and also you can add monetization as well because you probably well know at the moment is when, when you're playing a game on your PlayStation and you want to uh, stream it you hit the share button on your controller and you'll get broadcast gameplay pop up um, and that will pop up and then you can stream uh, to YouTube or Twitch the problem when you go into YouTube is that you don't get control over quite a few of the things that you want to have control of. So you can change the title, the description, you can add some tags, you know, whether the chat appears, all that sort of stuff. But you can't add monetization, you can't add a custom thumbnail, and you can't add, uh, say, a game category to it as well. The way that we're going to do this is we're going to use a free third-party service to actually to stream to Twitch. And that third par third party service we're going to use is Aircast. Again, this is free. If we look at the pricing for this, you can see the basic is free, and that has everything we want: unlimited streaming hours, full source quality, one output at a time. Well, we only want to stream to, to YouTube, and we're going to stream to Twitch, and then this service is going to kick it back to YouTube. Because if we do that, that enables us to use the um, uh, live channel uh, studio in our YouTube channel which gives us an awful lot of control over our stream. Now I do need to put out a big thanks to LAS Curry and his YouTube channel. I'll put a link to this tutorial in the description below below this video. This is the tutorial that tells you how to link your Twitch account with your YouTube account. Um, he did this back in January 21, showed me how to do it, blew me away. Thought this is this is absolutely fantastic. So good big shout out to him. So the first things you want to do though really is just make sure that on your PlayStation you want to make sure you've got the ability to stream to Twitch. So if you haven't set it up already, go to Twitch you know, on your laptop and, and set up a new account. Um, and then you want to go to settings on your PlayStation. I don't know where it is on the PlayStation 5. But you go to... Um, where is it? Sharing and Broadcasts. And then you want to go to link with other services. And you want to make sure you've linked your PlayStation account with your Twitch account. And then what you want to do is you probably want to do some, some test streams to make sure that you can stream to Twitch OK. Now once you've done that, make sure you follow LAS Curry's tutorial. And basically what it involves is creating an Aircast account, going into the live panel in studio on in YouTube, copying your stream key which is down there, copying it into here and then setting everything to auto. So this way when you start streaming to Twitch, Aircast will then start streaming it back to YouTube. Now where the real power for this is in here. So this is in the studio because you'll see. So the, up in the top left hand corner this is where your stream will appear and this is all the titles and everything so if we go to edit here what we can now do is we can now change what will appear when our stream starts to work so we've got a title obviously enough we've got a description obviously enough visibility not only can we, have, we can have public and unlisted and private we can have members only streams so those people who pay to become a member of your channel you can just stream to them if you like which is that's pretty cool isn't it keep going down category see this is the extra ones gaming so you can have a gaming category Tom Clancy's the division 2 thumbnail there it is there is my um, custom thumbnail for my stream how cool is that I could add it to a playlist there's other stuff there monetization you could turn monetization on so I guess people will be shown an advert before they before they start the stream and then what that means is when people um, are looking for a, a game, for example, um, say they've come to their home page on YouTube um, and they're looking at the live section, again, you will you will have a nice thumbnail. It'll even appear in, the, appear in their normal home section as well. Um, if they go to like the live page for a particular game, so this is the live page for player on those backgrounds for PUBG, because we've tagged it 
as the Division 2, it would appear in the Division 2 version of this. Or if it was a PUBG ver uh, game, it would, it would appear here. So people are much more likely to discover your stream. Now, the thing I will say about YouTube is that it's very good at showing you live stuff from um, subscribers you already subscribed to or you've watched before. There isn't as good a browsing section like there is in Twitch for saying, well, actually, I want to watch Daisy videos, and then you can look at people like that. It's a little bit more complicated. There used to be YouTube Gaming, which was a separate site almost that was better for that, but they've been that, which is always a shame. However, more and more people are coming to YouTube to stream um, because um, it's not as onerous as Twitch and it doesn't have all that other competition problems and the beauty with YouTube as well is once you've created your stream it's there on your YouTube channel for people to watch forever and you can monetize it that way so there we go that is how we um, can get more control over our uh, PlayStation streams to YouTube by in fact not streaming directly to YouTube we stream to Twitch and then we use Aircast to stream back from Twitch to YouTube so we get all that control that we get from using the YouTube live studio control panel okay well hopefully that's been useful if it has been hit the like button if you've got any questions and comments put them down below if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and I will of course see you again soon